Hello, I'm Emma Jo from Lavinia Stamps and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make this. Extreme close-up. Look at that. Stunning colours. Cracking stencils. Building up that subtle background. Posca splattery. Sentiment stickers and the new heart stamps. Fab. So this is a lovely tag. It's one of the large tags, watercolour card tags that we have at Lavinia Stamps. And I've used some of the new stencils. I've used one of the new heart stamps and some of the old sentiment stickers. So enough chat from me. Come with me. Let me show you how it's done. Okay, so I've got a large tag and some dreamscape papers and I'm just flicking through them trying to work out which colour I'm going to go with and I'm going with that orangey ready tint and I've got the small heart stamp and I'm just inking it up with Versafine Claire Nocturne and stamping it and I'm going to do a few of these because I always think if you do a few then you've got some for later and you've also got some that you might think oh that's not good enough I want to do it again any of these could work but it just gives you more options and options are a good thing There we go. So now I'm colouring the watercolour tag and I've used the cranberry red from the acrylic sprays and some sun yellow. And I'm just using my heat tool, my Ranger heat tool, just to move it along as I dry it. Now that's a little bit of golden, no, it's Chestnut Bay. Mystical Mica Chestnut Bay. Which will help give it a lovely sheen. So just a quick dry. And we're going to stencil some texture. So we've got a size nine stencil brush, Elements Ink Sundance, and the cobbles stencil. And I'm just adding that to some of my paler areas, shifting that stencil round a little bit. And I'm using Elements Ink Russet Orange. So I'm going for all those lovely fiery colours and Elements Ink Paprika as well. Building up some depth and you can start to see that stencil in the background. So now I'm using Elements Ink Truffle and I've discovered recently that I'm enjoying inking up my brush and popping it into the lid just so that I can keep hold of as much ink as possible. Waste not, want not, you know. Elements Ink Mermaid, just taking that around the outside again. Acting a bit like a bit of a frame. But I love the way Mermaid reacts with these fiery colours. And just do a bit here and there and you'll get this lovely deep brown. Oh, yummy. Posca party. So crack open those Poscas. I've got my Posca pen yellow and I'm just tapping it with my size 9 stencil brush. And if you want some slightly bigger dots, go near to where those Poscas have been and add your own. Just don't do too many. Let's have a ripping good time. So, you remember those hearts we did? Well, that's one of them. I've ripped it out and folded it in two. And now I am going to cut along the fold. Add some bippity boppity glue. And stick that half 
on one side and stick the other half just above but on the right hand side and here's me off shot trust me it's exciting this bit ripping another heart a <laughs> little bit more bibbidi bobbidi glue sticking it down and here comes Elements Ink Sundance. I love this. That ripped edge accepts colour so beautifully and it can change what you think is just quite a peculiar colour choice into just working so well with the background. And that yellow stands out. It's really zingy. Right. Now we're going to do some Posca pen edges. Of what, I hear you ask? Well, First of all, trim off any of the overhanging bits from the hearts. Grab your yellow Posca and just make those edges come to life a little bit more by adding some Posca. I've chosen to do yellow because I'd covered those hearts with some Sundance, Elements Ink Sundance, remember? And now I'm just going to bring those to life a bit more. And of course, you can colour in those cogs in the middle. I love this heart stamp. It's got lots of detail. So it's fun to just take your Posca and colour in the bits that you want to. Love it. Right, so I'm grabbing the Posca pen coral ink, coral pink even, and adding some more of that to that heart stamp. It's lovely. couple more splatters but this time with the coral pink and now we're moving on to the sentiment with a whole load of hearts what are we going to say ah love you but I'm going to cut that sticker up and I'm going to put the love at the top and the you underneath and I'm not going to do neat and tidy all on a straight line we're going to do it at angles so there's another sticker that says, I think, love you more. I love you more. There we go. I forgot a, forgot a word. So we're putting the I down separately. Cut each word out. And don't be afraid with these to reposition them if you don't like where they've gone. Here we go. Just remember to do it quickly while the glue hasn't stuck down. Now we're going to grab our Posca pen, our black Posca pen, and I'm just adding a few dots. So it's like, love you, and then dot, 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 and dot, 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 I love you more. And I think that's rather a stunning little tag. Well done. You did it. You know, this tag sort of crept up on me. I really had no idea where I was going to go with this and it sort of evolved in front of me which I I actually really love I love the texture and you the subtle texture you get in the background just by using that stencil once or twice and letting it have that pattern in slightly different colors it's fab and just using the Posca on the ripped edge of that heart stamp makes it go bing and you know wake up and pay attention so so my lovelies thank you very much for coming along and watching me have a go at making this i hope you've thoroughly enjoyed yourself i know i certainly have but if you've got any comments you'd like to make please pop them in the post below and i will do my best to get back in touch with you as soon as i possibly can but in the meantime have fun
and take care. Bye.